We back here, Joe Cleese. This, is, this guy here, it's Eminem. You know what I mean? He's off the hook with it. When I say he's off the hook, he's just off the easy. He's, he's on something else. And you, unless you can get to that level, then you can't relate to Eminem. You feel what I'm saying? No. <laughs> What's up with being from Detroit? Another, another way to categorize hip hop. You say you don't want to be just a white rapper or a black rapper, you just want to be a rapper. Another way to categorize it. I want to be an from. artist, formerly known as the artist. They, they categorize where, where you from. You come out of Detroit, was it, uh, it was a difficult. They, talk to us how difficult it was, man. It was hard, man, being just a, just an MC in Detroit. Um, exactly. Besides, regardless of being just a white MC, just being an MC from Detroit. No matter how many battles I won, no matter how many, no matter how many rap contests I won, no matter how much stuff I was doing, it didn't matter I was in Detroit. Right. There's no, there's no labels in Detroit. There's no, there's no way to, 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 for the industry to see talent in New, in, in, in New York. In New York. Detroit. In Detroit. In the D. So I'm, until I started taking, until I started taking it elsewhere, until I, until I started going to like, I went to the uh, 97 Scribble Jam. Right. And um, I took second place in the Scribble Jam. And then um, I went to the 97 Rap Olympics at the end of 97. I went there and uh, I took second place in that. What? I should have took, should have took first, should have took first, uh, but what I took prompted second. You, what prompted you to go independent? To straight say, all right, cool, I'm gonna make these songs myself. The production company happens. that I was with, the production okay. company that I was with, I was with this uh, production company, it was called Web Entertainment, uh -huh. um, FBT Productions. And it was like, they was like, we started selling units through, um, we got a little distribution deal through Fat Beats. We started selling some, selling Fat Beats some here, units. Fat Beats here in the city? Yeah, Fat Beats here okay. in the city. And it was also, it was in New York, it was in LA, you know what I mean? Right. And it was like, we started selling units through Fat Beats. So we was like, my production company was like, yo, we should, we should just take it everywhere we can. So they got like this little loan or whatever. We went to L.A. with it. As soon as we went to L.A., we was going to work our way back from L.A. back to the East Coast. We was just going to put it in as many stores as we could. And right. as soon as we did that, it was like, um, you know, Dre found it. Dre got wind of it and just, boom. You know, like that. When we come back, y'all, we're going to talk to Eminem about Dr. Dre finding your tape with somebody's garage? Yeah. Stay tuned, Mr. Rap City. This is going to be the bar, dog. Come on. Fuck, man. Found your joint in the garage somewhere, B? Found it in the garage. In the garage. You know, I always say, you know, Dr. Dre is a good guy, but, um, you know.